the key is, and, I, and I've heard you know, several pros talking about it, is you got to get to where those cobwebs are. And that means there's nobody threw it in there yet. So you get it to those cobwebs, that's when you're going to definitely get more bites. And you're actually going to be able to fish behind people if you do get in a tournament situation. You're going to be able to fish behind people because you know they haven't got their bait in there. So there's guys that fish, you know, the professional tour that make a living, like I said, just breaking the cobwebs because nobody can get it in there where they can. So there's definitely guys like that on, on the Bass Pro Tour and the Bassmaster Elite Series. But the key is, is just time. And you got to, like I said, get you a seven foot rod with, with a medium action and put braided line on it. So that means you're going to be able to make, you know, hundreds of casts. Your braid's not going to mess up every time. You know, you're not going to get frustrated with fluorocarbon on a spinning reel. Put some, some very good braided line on it, 15 to 30 pound test braid, and just practice. It just, like I said, take your time and try to hit that target. And if you was to want to, you know, practice at home, and if you do have a swimming pool, of course, the diving board, everybody's talked about, you know, get on the diving board and skip it into the skimmer if you do have a swimming pool. And if not, just get on a, a bucket in, in your garage or on a slab of concrete and use that concrete as, as water and try to skip it into a bucket that's laying sideways on, on the concrete or into the corner or, you know, hit certain things. And then if it's just on grass out in the yard, it's going to be harder to make it skip, of course, but you can still practice your target. You want to hit the same target. And that way, when you get on the water, you got this much space where between two dock floats. Well, if you hit that target every time, it's going to skip. So you can... So I've got a platform here on this dock, so I'm going to try to skip it up under there. And when you're skipping, you want your bait to hit right at the opening. That way you get the furthest skip. Once it hits the water, you can get it to skip as far as you can. You don't want it skipping out here at the boat or too quick because it'll run out of momentum. It won't make it in there as far as you want to get it in there. So you want that baby to skip as far as you can, and you want it to start hitting right about where you start getting under the dock. So you throw it, and you just, it just slides in there. That one hit a little bit short. But I, it, it got enough, the bait was light enough, it, it slid in there far enough. But that's the key is you want it to slide in there as far as you can. And so the, the key is to make it hit closest to the dock as you can. If I can get it in this one, I, I'll catch one if I can get it to them. See, so yeah, I hit it too short that time so it didn't make it up there and my bait missed. So you got to do it perfect or it won't do right. There's some in there, but man, they are right where you can, it's hard to get to them. It's like they know where they're protected. Got him. That's a good fish. See, it took me a minute, but I got it in there to him, got me a keeper. And they it bit it immediately. I mean, I didn't even have to start reeling it, and he was already swimming off with it. Just a good keeper sized fish. He's got that swim bait choked. That's the deal. Just get it in there. Like I said, it took me a few minutes to get in there. A few casts, not a few minutes, but a few casts. But once I got it in there, caught a decent fish. Folks, information is pouring over. If you want to learn more about every lake, how to fish shallow, deep, in between, skipping docks and rocks and cranking, slow wiggling, chatter smattering, you get it at Bash U. Get on Bash U TV, check it out, sign up, be a member, be part of it, folks. Keep learning.